Cheers, coach. <laughs> cheers, mate. Cheers. Saying his goodbyes to one of the hottest seats in world football. After two years as South Africa coach, Gordon Iggerson now knows that his contract that finishes in August will not be renewed. At a hastily arranged news conference, Iggerson refused to answer any questions from the media, instead choosing to read out a statement. I would just like to start off by saying that it has been my distinct privilege and honour, the highlight of my career to have been the South African men's senior national team coach for the last two years. Of course, I am deeply disappointed with Safra's decision undertaken yesterday not to extend my contract beyond August. However, this is a football and it's the nature of the game. I believe this team can do wonderful things with the vast talent I've seen and I believe I hand over a national team that is in a far better state than the one I inherited. Under Iggerson, South Africa only lost two out of 14 competitive games and he also oversaw an impressive victory over world champion Spain. But his failure to take South Africa to the 2014 World Cup combined with the disappointment of missing out on a semi-final spot at last year's Africa Cup of Nations on home soil appear to have been his downfall. Yeah, I think uh, we are now convinced that uh, we must change at the senior level. Uh, and we've looked at all of our structures and, and put other development structures in place. And we have to reconstruct and rebuild our national team. We want to get uh, amongst the best nations on the continent again. So Gordon Iggerson becomes the 23rd South Africa coach in 22 years to lose his job. It's a staggering statistic. The search will now begin for his replacement, with Safa not expected to make that announcement until after the World Cup. Strange enough, we, we did not look for anybody. The, the name started flooding in and there are some high quality coaches. We are now going to engage them. I've seen that uh, uh, they have already mentioned the two horse race between Stephen Cashy and, and Carlos Queiroz. Uh, of course, uh, we, we have to respect the fact that they are actually with their teams in the World Cup. But time is against whoever takes up the baton. AFCON 2015 qualifiers are just months away and given the high churn rate of South Africa coaches, the pressure will be on Gordon's successor to bring success and quickly or else. Dan Williams, CCTV, Johannesburg.